Not a good performance, poor, but uh, a really good, resilient second half performance. Well, when we're down to ten men. Thoughts on the red card? Uh, the only the only thing I'm going to say about it is that uh, I think the ta tackle on Jared Bowen leading up to it was a foul. I think it's in the same phase of play, which I would expect VAR to have intervened and done something about it. That's the disappointment part for me. And last one uh, from me. Thoughts on the referee's performance from what you can say overall tonight? Because I know you booked you at half time. Yeah, you say anything at all? No, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't. Uh, no, I'm not certainly not going to talk about the referees. Not not at all. Sorry, David. Jared um, has obviously been out for a bit, but he, he's kind of hit the ground running. Is that another in scoring in a European quarter final? Is that another step forward for him? Mm, I think so. I think Jared actually, I thought he started slow tonight, but so did the rest of our team. We started very slow. But uh, Jared's been the one who's looking as if he can get us the goals at the moment or been, been in areas to score his goals. So. Good on him. We've needed him. He's come back. He's got his two goals in, in a couple of games. So uh, we're really pleased to get him back. And he's a he's, he's an important player to the team. Uh, David, how happy are you that your players didn't lose their heads? They they rallied together and ultimately got that important goal through Jared. Mm, uh, I mean, we, we didn't have much of the ball in the second half. We, we had to defend well against their 11. They played really well with the ball. Technically, they were very good with the ball tonight, I felt. But we defended very well and uh, it made it harder for them. And we may have had more chances actually with 10 men than we did with 11 at times. So it, it, uh, we have the ability to score and uh, we had one or two half opportunities tonight. But in terms of going on to 10 men, were you also impressed with how you were defensively because you made a number of important tackles and blocks? Yeah. Well, it's part of football, isn't it? That you, know, you have to be able to defend as well as attack. And uh, I thought we, I thought when we had to defend for most of the game, for most periods, we we done okay. Uh, David, that first half was really um, fragmented. A lot of fouls, a lot of stoppages. Do you think that was Leon's game plan, or do you think that was because they were surprised at how quickly you started, and how and the atmosphere and the intensity? And uh, I, I think the game, the games in Europe. I watch a lot of games in Europe, and you know, and I think that. Uh, the way the games are played here, you know, we, we've we moved on from soft free kicks in this country. The referees have, have moved on and tried to change the way it goes. And to be fair, I think uh, I think the referees which we've had this season in the games have all been very, very good and allowed the games to flow and not accepted uh, soft things. But uh, I just thought the game never get any chance to flow really from, from the early part. And it was, it was quite broken up, as you rightly said. And you're not happy with the performance, but you're an, a better stage when you were in the first leg in the last round your, your level that's something to take yeah, yeah we've got an away we've got an away tie a really difficult game in Leon. Uh, but we expected that and I think it's sometimes difficult to the first the first leg is always always a difficult game and quite hard to to sort of get MD getting a defining uh, sort of result which would probably put them you know, in the in the next round if you know so the game is very much to play for. At half time, I'd have taken that after the way you know, we ended the first half. David, just going back to the first half again, there was um, you spoke about the dark arts before the last round against um, Sevilla. Do you think there was a touch of that? There was a Cristiano Ronaldo esque wink from Dembele after Cresmo got sent off. Well, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. All I can. The only thing I really want to focus in is: Do you think it's a free kick on Jared Bowen on the lead up to the goal? Because if it is, VAR should have intervened and gone back. Oh, that's what we do in the Premier League. It's in the same phase of play, and I would have expected VAR to have checked that. And just very quickly on an incident in the second half, ties like these can come down to very small moments. And you had a very promising attack that was stopped by. A fan running onto the pitch. I mean, you look baffled, frankly. Yeah, I was. This is a really good football club, and it's it's doing so many good things to improve. But those things tonight didn't help. Certainly didn't help the team, because we were on a counter attack at the time with an opportunity to score.